All right, guys. Well, thanks for joining me, Eek Nation. We are bringing another video back to you guys. Uh, this one I wanted to do uh, for all of the artists out there. I get asked a lot of times questions about which markers do I use, which do I prefer, um, how well do they work, do I know anything about the alcohol-based markers. And for those of you who are looking for uh, some more informative videos on how to use them and blend them, just check the links above. I've got a couple of videos in the playlist that actually show me using the uh, alcohol-based markers and what I do to blend them, and I've even got some tips in there. But I wanted to let you guys know what I use and why I use the Copic markers. That's right. Um, and if you guys are just joining me and you haven't been around, you haven't seen any of the videos, whenever I say we, because everyone's pointed out, man, Ed, you have a habit of saying we. I'm talking about me and Steve. So if you guys haven't met Steve, this is the other part of the we. We brainstorm together. Uh, we hang out together. Love Steve. You know, no llama drama here. For the most part, I use the Copic sketch markers. Now, why do I use the alcohol-based markers? One, they're designed for you to be able to blend them very easy. They really blend into themselves well. So if you start off with a medium tone, it will slowly start to blend into itself and get a little darker and a little darker. Now, there's only so dark you can go with some of them until you actually have to change uh, pigment value on them uh, or, or different colors, hues, and stuff like that. They offer well over 250 different colors. Here is a box of 12 neutral grays. I'll get into these in a minute. This is pretty cool. So when you order these, they come with their own little miniature carrying case. Great thing for those of you guys who travel with them. I'm going to raise my hand. So why, Ed, do we like the Copic markers? Well, one, they have two tips. They've got the chisel tip, and I will do a close-up on these, and they've got the brush tips. You can pull these tips out. I'm going to do that. I've got a nifty paper towel right here. You can pull these tips out, and you can actually refill them, which makes it really cool. Because these markers generally can run anywhere from $6.99 up to $9.00. So a marker that you can refill, you can get the chisel tips or the uh, brush tips separately. So you can just keep replacing them because the tips will wear down on them. Well, how do you refill them, you ask? Great question. Uh, these nifty refill bottles that Copic also sells. You just take these off. They've got an extended tip and you just gently pour them in. I always uh, do it over some napkins or a paper plate so that I don't uh, accidentally leak anywhere. You definitely do not want to do it near the artwork. When you get the refills, they are color coded. They have the name of the color on the top of the bottle and that should correspond with your marker. And the refill bottle will refill your marker, I don't know, four, five, six times. So that alone will save you money as you uh, figure out which of the markers you enjoy using. Now to show you how much faith that I have in the product that I'm actually reviewing with you guys, the Ninja Turtle comic that you see behind me, I happen to have one of those here. And guys, the cool thing about this cover is I actually use the Copic markers to do the entire cover. How cool is that? So my cover for issue number one of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Urban Legends was done with the Copic markers. Thank you guys. If you want to know more about it, uh, feel free to message me. Remember to smash the like button if you have any questions on the markers or what else I use. Keep the questions coming. Put them in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think. So there you go, guys. Make sure you watch, like, subscribe. I've got a couple of other videos here that are going to pop up at the end. Feel free to watch those and check out how I use the markers. Thank you guys from Eek Nation. We'll see you in the next video.